Our top story, reading, writing, and math. How are our students doing since the pandemic began? Good evening, everyone. I'm Abby Turpin. And I'm Ron Steele. Thank you for joining us here tonight. You know, these days, students are struggling, some of them anyway, and many parents are actually turning to tutors to help their kids out. KWWL's Diego Hernandez joins us live in the studio after speaking with a local tutoring center today. What did you find out, Diego? Well, many students have been struggling all school year because of how behind they are in their learning. Some still have yet to learn material from last school year. Well, a tutoring center here in Waterloo has noticed this issue and is helping these kids move forward in their education. We have definitely seen um, quite an influx of students. The UNIQ Tutoring Center is currently helping about 75 students, more than in typical school years. Obviously, with the virtual learning, there has been a huge increase just for the simple fact that parents aren't able to help those students um, with the information that they are needing to do virtually. So yes, there has been a huge need, a huge influx in that. The tutors serve students in grades K through 12. This year, early elementary students are the largest group coming in for help. Ideally, if we can get them that assistance um, in the second, third grade, then hopefully they can continue being successful throughout um, their elementary and then on to middle, middle school and high school as well. Tutoring sessions are virtual, but despite not being able to get that extra help in person, students are benefiting. Quite a few students that were in our fall semester that were initially going to be enrolled um, in this spring semester kind of have backed out of the tutoring for the simple fact that their grades are, are getting better and that they are doing well in school so they're not needing the tutoring services. In math and language arts, our two subject students have been struggling with the most, but Holbach, who you just heard from there, says they are having trouble with subjects across the board. In the studio, Diego Hernandez, New 7 KWWL. Diego, thanks for the update here tonight. By the way, Iowa Senate File 265 is a proposed piece of legislation, a bill which would allow Iowa parents to actually hold their child back a grade level due to the pandemic, and that's making its way right now through the Iowa House. The bill was passed in the Senate earlier this week. 